Aperture is the technical term for how much light is coming in through a lens, whether it's a big lens like this or even the small lenses on your cell phone or small digital camera. Now, the more open that lens is, the more light's gonna come in, and the more closed that lens is, the less light comes in. When a lens is open all the way, the most perfect lens in the whole world, that would be measured as one. One would mean it's completely 100% open. As you close that lens, the measurement of f-stops goes up to two, three, four, five, six. As that number goes up, your picture gets darker. So it's kind of backwards from what you would think. You want that number low to let in as much light as possible. On top of that, the more open the lens is, so the lower the f-stops, the more depth of field you get. And what depth of field is, is when I'm sharp and the background is blurry. That's depth of field. Generally, you want something like that. It's something that people try to get, even though they don't necessarily know what it is. Okay, I know that that was a lot of technical jargon, but I needed to give you the correct terminology. Instead of telling you how all this works and trying to wrap your head around it, we're gonna show you. There's a scene that we've shot here where you can see us opening and closing the lens, which means opening and closing the aperture, which means the f-stop is going up and down. So we're gonna show that to you in this scene, and as we open and close that lens, the depth of field is gonna get narrower and greater, but just watch it. It'll make sense and just keep track of the numbers. It kind of, kind of explains itself. So, that's it. I know it's a lot, but just, just check the scene out. Well, you'll see. It's a good scene. They're all good. They're all great. But that's as, that's as simple as we can make it. I'm sorry.